Hello, GWR Gamer here, bringing the final part of Mario Kart DS. Yes, I know it's been a long while, but we are finally finishing it off. We the Battle Mode Balloon Battle, it's the one you all know. Last time we were with Waluigi, and now I have decided we shall finish off the Battle Mode with Rob. You probably know him if you've played Smash Bros. So, I'm gonna go in with normal CC, of course it's choose, we'll have, of course, three, not four. Wins and we'll go in to use on routine. Yeah, I changed it from CPU 8. I'll show a little bit about that. So it's me, Wario, Luigi, and Toad up against DK, Mario, Daisy, and Bowser. We're going to go with the last three courses. We've got starting with Top Top, which is basically the worst, in my opinion. So we're on a giant tart, obviously, hence the name. Probably using the select button. So, like I say, it's basically just a round oval with a boost bit and a boost jump where all the item boxes are. And there's some squidgy like, treats or something, like meringues maybe? And strawberries that you can bump into. And this happens. It, that's all that happens. The problem I have with this is it's so basic and it just gets so repetitive. You just gotta go from side to side, occasionally hit a, hit an enemy. And it's going round and round. You guys are pretty very really pretty bored at the end of this, and so am I. Though there are some tactics. The best place to place your sort of your defensive items, your bananas, and fake item box to fake item box and even your bob bombs oh are on the boost panel. And I'm out. <laughs> Already, but we win. Hooray! That was quite quick, thankfully it was over. We're gonna go into the two retro ones. Top Top is basically similar to the... There's a course from Double Ash, it's like Cookie Land or something like that. We're going with Block Fort from Mario Kart 64, my personal favourite. It's kind of what it is, it's a giant block fort. It's great, it's by far the biggest as well. Using the select button instead of blowing. I'm gonna try and survive this time. I've played on this course so much I know practically everything about it. That's all your best way to play. So this video is probably actually gonna be end up being quite short because I died. There was still more as a balloon. Can't remember. Okay, so you got basically got the four forts: green, red, yellow, and blue. Oh, it looks a bit more like pink, to be honest. Now in the sort of two layers. You've got these bridge sections up here, a little bit down there, and the ground level where your majority of your CPUs are going to be on the top. They'll only be on the bottom if they've fallen off. Oh, I actually got quite lucky there. And bombed Daisy with a green shell. On hard mode, you've generally got to outwit the CPUs at their own game. They they love picking up item boxes. They love holding green shells, red shells. They love holding anything they can get their hands on. I don't think that was one of my traps. Setting fake item boxes down. I feel kind of sad to be going up against DK because he's my favourite character. Maybe not overall favourite Mario Kart character, as that would probably have to go to someone like King Boo or Peter Piranha. Or maybe even Diddy Kong. Damn it, he got me. Right. So I was able to push him off there, and Wario just went flying down. And the bob on the hunt. Everyone's flying today. So, yeah, so Rob's inclusion is kind of unusual. So they basically just picked up like a—he's not a character as such. He doesn't really appear in his own games. It's only with the inclusion of him in Smash Bros. Brawl and I guess this that Rob has sort of gained somewhat of a character. You know, he, even then he doesn't really have a personality. Oh no! No, I, I just attacked one of my own teammates. Friendly fire. Okay, DK's down. 
Bowser. Bowser is getting a lot of vengeance here, and I need to be careful. So I'm not gonna make it to the end if he just keeps on attacking me. I thought that was an item box, and then it's a fake item box. Got lucky that time. Right. Anyways. So you'll. I can never remember how you unlock Rob. I know you unlock. Bowser. I can see how good that, that AI is. And you unlock Daisy, Drybones, Waluigi, Waluigi. I'm pretty sure just by beating the cups on anything from 100cc and up. I don't think you get them on 50cc. Rob, I think it, you get him for beating all the cups on 150cc. Though you will be able to use both his first and third carts with DK and Wario prior to unlocking him. So you essentially know that there's a, a secret character. Just from you know he's there until you unlock him. I seriously just tripped up on that, seriously. But I've now got to be very careful about how I play. Okay, but a good few people have only got one item. Not one item. One banana. I was gonna say one banana then, I mean one balloon left. Including ourselves, so it's probably best we get rid of. Oh, wait, there are teammates. So we're just gonna need to get rid of Bowser and Mario. I can do that with a single red shell each. Right, where's Bowser? I'm just going to the mini map. Okay, he's on the yellow one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is he? Where'd he go? I don't think he used a boo. Where are you? Where are you, sneaky little Cooper? Okay, now he's coming down here. And victory is ours! Du -du 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 -du. You win. I'll admit the unlocking Rob isn't really that impressive. He's just another heavy character, really. I mean, you've already got already had an access to Donkey Kong, Bowser, and Wario since the beginning of the game. And now we're on the final one, Pike Plaza from Mario Kart Double Dash. It's got a pretty unique concept of the pipes being able to walk you you to the top and lower levels. The man just jumped off. Yeah, just go through the black void and we're now made over here. Okay, make the deflect that red shell. So you've sort of got the anarchy on the bottom level, and now uh, you've got sort of a bit more peaceful on the top level. I'm trying to get someone's banana. No, I'm saying the wrong words again. I mean someone's balloon. Get someone's banana. Why would Rob want bananas anyways? He's a robot. No, I'll tell you what Ro Ah, yes! Sniped him. Sniped Wario. Wah! Why does this happen to Wario? Right. Right, just, just lay bananas everywhere. Someone's gonna trip on him at some point. I'm okay, here having to fight DK, but I don't want to mention that, but yeah, you got to. Oh, God damn it, DK. I'm your friend, not your foe. Just, just because we're on opposite colours. More triple bananas. Pretty soon, no matter what item box you touch, you're going you're gonna to have to hit a banana. More bananas. Yo, what is Rob's seemingly new fascination with bananas? Banana! <laughs> okay, that's DK, that's DK. Come on, come on, get him! Mine! Darn it. So you get Mario. We're attacking Rob. The ultimate super genius. And now it's just DK left. I don't want to kill you, DK. Okay, come on, come on. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Let's hunt the monkey. Come on, monkey. Come on, monkey. Get over here, monkey. I'm sorry, DK, but it's time to die. Moya, motion to you. That's enough way to kill him. And we get the celebration. Blue team. Wins and Rob now has blue eyes instead of red eyes. Weird. 
And that concludes battle mode. Otherwise, going on to the different modes, there's mission mode, of course. And that's where you start with just one rank. I'm not going to show it all, of course, because then, like I say, we'd be here for quite a while. Same as I might have been doing for CC. But you have a collection of eight missions and a boss battle. See, this one's got Big Bully. You got Irock. You got Goom Boss, who I think was in Mario. Mario 64 DS. And we've got King Boo, who's got one of the dumbest boss battles ever. Collect 50 coins lost of all of you, and then we've got King Bolon. Chief Chili, who's basically just big bully, but when you got a hit in the third time, he just jumps. So, if you're able to get a star rank on at least meh, on levels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, you unlock level 7. And the boss is Wiggler. And you can see I'm not great. As the missions are quite hard, I mean, drive backward and collect all 12 coins. You hit a burner, you fail. Whilst minimum boxes with Bowser. You to defeat 30 Goombas. Reach the fishable Bowser. Can we two laps in the time and collect all 20 coins? They they ramp up the difficulty more, but that's mission mode, and I think it's about to turns. It's pretty interesting. Versus mode is just standard racing. Second, so let's just go with Bowser, for example. And put you can change this the class, so you can change how fast you want it to go. You can even have it on mirror mode, which is effectively under 50 CC. But you can have it on mirror mode and have the computers on easy. Once again, you can choose courses, add them in order, or have them in random. Rules, you can set how many times you need to win and how many races how many races you have and how many times you have to win those races and of course you can have teams. That that works. Time trials, it's sort of what it is. For example, we'll show show off Peach a little bit. Largely players, you can just pick any track you got available. And then some of these I have ghost data available. Actually you could send a ghost or receive a ghost. Let's take that to the title screen. So Wi-Fi, you've got records, you know, you have battles, things, Grand Prix. This I think did have this did have save data on it. It has someone sort of done a bit of the hard work for me. But these are all the different cups. All the points you got. For some reason in this banana cup, this person did better in 150 CC than you see mirror than they did on regular 100 CC. Yeah. That's that. You've got time trials. Go the day for few minutes. Okay. And there you can see some little save data. And you're just going through the courses. And that's sort of that. Friends. Steak. You got all these people. And it's a long time. And that's that. They got options. You got settings. You got stand. Okay, friends, you can read your data if you want, but we're not going to do that. You got my favourites, edit nickname. You can change your name, basically. They call it a nickname, but it is just your name. Oh god, I didn't want to do that. Okay. It's been registered. I don't know if you have a nickname for when you boot up the game. Now you got your emblem. Just something I want to show off. Paint. There you go. Here's my emblem. And Kelly, Chloe, pardon me. Kelly, Chloe, Ash, and Beth. You can adjust it in many ways. You can choose colors. Colors. I'll take out my stylus. Colors. You can. You know, your basic fill tools. Color selector. Rubber. You can even have certain shapes. Like a star, a shirt, cross, a mushroom, like well, a Mario head. I presume that's a keyhole, a shield, crown. A bunny head, a head, that, you know, various basic shapes. And the camera, you can just select all the cards. I presume these were entered in, presumably in play, so Mario comes first, followed by DK, Toad, Bowser, Peach, whilst every character does their dance, you'll see them doing their dance when they get the star. So you've got Peach, then you got Wario, Yoshi, Luigi. Dry Bones, Daisy, Waluigi, then Rob. So it's natural that the unlockable characters were added last in Mario's at first. B zooms out, X zooms in. L and R just go around and rotate the cards. So I look around, look down. With the B dasher. 
Alright, let's have the back now. Rambi Rider. We can then just have a look around. And there's a slot thing. Let's save and quit, and that's really it to be honest. That is Mario Kart DS for you. Because you probably missed the task screen isn't original. Normally you'll have Mario just flying in the background. And, and you'll see that on the Nintendo DS battle mode. So there's multiplayer, there's Nintendo Wi-Fi, but that's been shut down. And really that's Mario Kart DS for you. That's everything this game has to offer. Sometimes it'll show you some race footage. Of course you'll want mirror mode. And that's it really, that is Mario Kart DS. I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. Sorry, it's sort of been going on for a long time and I haven't uploaded a Mario Kart part in a long time, but I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. Next time, we will be moving on to Sonic Adventure. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, nice speak to it. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you next time, when I will most likely be discussing the results of my 60 subscriber um, the subscriber video option thing, I'll be announcing who's the winner, which option won, and I don't know, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.